Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spiritual Readiness and the Time of the Shift. We seem to be living uh, through this uh, period of shift and acceleration where divisiveness and polarization is paramount. From that standpoint, there is an acceleration and a quickening that is causing many to feel lost. I want to talk today about three general category of um, um, individual who are struggling and tr uh, moving through the shift. The first type are those individuals who are recently awakened. All of a sudden, um, although they have, we're going to a routine, normal kind of life, work, family, vacation, and so on and so forth, all of a sudden they awaken and their heart is open and they have nobody to talk to. In their environment, their, their heart is open, they are beginning to feel energy, they feel th sensations that they have never felt before, they are getting much more empathetic, a lot of them think that they are going crazy, they are going insane, they have no individual to guide them. Many turn to the internet and start Googling um, um, to see if they can find guidance. There are some good stuff out there, but a lot of it is misaligned, and a lot of them are lost. Um, and when you're awakening for the first time, having good guidance is key. And for that to happen, you have to have a community. You have to have an environment in which you are around other people like you who are going through this so that when you're feeling certain things, you're feeling sensation that your heart is racing and you think that you're, gonna, you're having a heart attack, that when you talk to other people in your community that are having the same thing, it puts you at rest and at ease and you realize you're not insane, you're not crazy. Uh, so having a community is important. However you find the community, it's important and you have to feel that it's a fit. I have created uh, online the Wisdom Council um, uh, on Facebook as a Facebook page and it's now open for people to join in and I'm doing a bi-monthly training to try to give proper information out. So if that's of interest to you, you might want to do this. The other thing as well I want to mention here is that my book, A Primer for Ascension, is available uh, for you to purchase either um, um, the Kindle version or the hardcover so you can get general uh, principles of what's happening right now and so that you can have guidance. You can figure out the landmarks. There's a, a beautiful story um, um, uh, by, by Plato about the, the, uh, the, the men, a group of men that existed in the cave for many, many generations. They never saw daylight in their entire life. And one day somebody ripped out the roof of the cave and more than half of them die of fear of the sun. Think about this for a second. When you're feeling sensation in your body that you never had before and that you, never, you, couldn't, you, you can't process, you can't understand, you really think that there's something literally uh, psychologically or emotionally wrong with you. That's the first kind. The second kind is individuals who have been doing light work for a while. Actually, some of them very talented uh, in terms of psychic abilities and powers. Some very different of my world. I consider to be powerhouses in terms of the abilities that they have. Who are not doing anything about moving into the future because they are parallel realities that are, that are presenting themselves. The divisiveness is showing a uh, path that are misaligned, multiple of them, and then a few paths that are aligned. And again, multiple of them. One has to be able to make a choice, and that's the whole point, to move into the path that's aligned. Uh, and the choice is made by the action that you take. The choice is made also by you uh, helping others move into the path that you think is the proper path. So if you are waiting, sitting around and waiting for some sort of change in the energy because the energy is too intense, or you're sitting around hoping that 
the class is being graded by a curve and just because in your mind and in your consciousness, you think of yourself as going into this ascended tomorrow, that somehow you're gonna shift and this energy will uh, osmosis take you. No, that's not the way it works. You get to become the change that you desire. You have to, if you see that future, you have to walk into it. And if you're not taking actions in terms of actually walking into it, you're gonna end up in the future that you don't want. Because the more, as you take actions toward the future that you want, that other, these other futures, those other potential futures will completely dissipate. They will go in the background, they will cease to be important, and you will completely exist into the future that you're trying to, to create. I hope that makes sense to you. The third type are those who are actually walking into the future of their choice. Okay, those are the ones that, that have a daily spiritual practice, who are taking action, who are doing, uh, reprogramming their subconscious mind, who are uh, spending their time uh, going through mental mastery realizing, scanning themselves on a daily basis to see their behavior and see in what way they can become better. It's not enough for you to feel that your heart is open, to feel compassion for the world. You have to become compassionate. They are two separate things. You have to, every time you're being tested by circumstances to be in a, in, in, to trigger you into a past behavior, you have to catch yourself and change. Every time you feel being triggered to become a victim, you have to completely shift yourself into being empowered. And if you're not doing this and you're waiting for the energy, it's indeed the energies are powerful. They are opening up inside of us. The roof of the cave is being ripped out and they're opening inside of us all kinds of things. But the, the, but the roof of the cave cannot elevate your consciousness. It cannot change your behavior. It cannot cause what is habitual to change overnight osmosis without you doing anything. If you're not moving and you're not changing, it's not gonna happen. So for those who have already begun to do this work, What's happening right now, energetically, is that there is a tremendous and powerful um, sprouting. New seed, it's almost spring now, new spread or literally coming through the earth. It's, it's like watching, I used to love to do chemistry when I was a, uh, in, in, in school, it's like watching in a liquid, it's the very moment when precipitate, a solid, begin to come through um, a liquid. Right now, things are about to change. And for those who've been doing the work, all of a sudden, they are finding that they're in a space where the burgeoning of new life, the burgeoning of the new direction. And it's a very exciting time to be in. There is a sense of control, a sense I, I know exactly where I'm going. I have a sense of where, I'm, and it's a beautiful thing. And if you find yourself in the first two categories that I've described, I've already given you suggestions on how you can redirect yourself. The purpose for this video is to try to guide you as these, are, these changes are taking place so quickly so that you can find, um, you can walk into the future that's better for you. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, I do a video once a week. Uh, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and share this video if it's in alignment with your purpose and with your interest. I look forward to talking to you next week. Blessings, everyone. Thank you.